right, today we're going to be taking apart the new LG Nexus 5. Um, if you're looking for parts or tools to repair the phone, I will post whatever I can find in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so with a plastic tool, and it's important to use a plastic one or else you will scratch uh, the edge of the phone a lot. We're going to go around the edge and work uh, the clips. There's clips all along the side of the back, and you want to work them out individually. You don't want to pry the back off unless all the clips are loosened because you will put a big crease across your back. So I'm just going to fast forward this. Yeah, as you can see I'm working each clip and I'm slowly prying the back off. There is a little bit of adhesive near the bottom. And I might take a little bit more, uh, more strength to get it off but like I said, don't bend the back door because you will put a crease on the sides. And there we go. Now this is the back plate. As you can see, it houses uh, some antenna cables, the vibrator motor and whatnot. Close up of this will show you the screws we're gonna remove. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's three more at the bottom here. Four more actually, to remove the bottom assembly. That's the battery there. So, let's begin by removing the screws. Again, I'm going to fast forward. With a plastic tool or something to assist you, you just lift that up. And that's just a little cover for the motherboard. First thing I disconnect here in the back is the battery plug. So, unplug the battery. And the next thing is, the, this is called the charger port flex cable assembly. Now if you want to change the charger port on the Nexus, uh, I love how they have uh, made it very easy to do. You don't have to do any soldering. You would just replace this piece that is plugged in here. Uh, once we remove the speaker, I'll show you where it is and what it looks like. So now let's go ahead and uh, remove the four screws at the bottom so we can remove the speaker. Now this is a speaker assembly, it has a speaker, it also has an antenna here. I'm not sure which one it is at this point, but it's an antenna. So now this is the uh, flex cable for the charger port, which also has a mic and a couple other little things uh, along with it. To remove it, we're going to start by unclipping this antenna cable here. Okay. As well as this flex cable here that's actually the LCD. Um, LCD or the digitizer is part of the screen assembly. I forget which one it is at this point. I'm pretty sure it's the LCD. Then we unplug the big antenna on the other side. Here's a close up. You can see the charger port here, uh, the antenna cables, and the plug that goes into the motherboard. Replacing this will also repair antenna issues if you're having antenna problems or reception. Okay, so carefully, uh, you're gonna have to work it off carefully. There's a bit of adhesive and the charger port is also uh, inside the little plastic mount there. You don't wanna make, put any rips in this whatsoever. gets very narrow at one point here and that's where you got to be very careful it rips very easy okay so here you don't want to pry it up in this case I'm gonna get a metal opening tool which is thinner and I'm actually gonna try to get underneath this cable here lift that up there And that's it. Now we're going to remove the battery. It's very easy to remove the battery in this case. 
um, but uh, actually wait we're gonna remove the motherboard first get that out of the way Very easy. Uh, just, you know, unclip it. There's going to be some little bit of resistance, uh, but just work it carefully. Don't yank on anything. And here's the motherboard. Let's take a close look at it. So you can see all the connectors there, camera connector and all whatnot. This is the back. You got the SIM card slot, uh, the GPU or the CPU, and and uh, yeah, that's what the motherboard looks like. It's pretty small. Now the battery comes off very easy. It has a bit of adhesive, but just a quick snap with the opening tool, they'll come right off. And here's the camera, we'll get that off as well. Got a bit of two-way tape to hold it on, and uh, it's good to go. Here's the battery, it's not a bad little battery. I forget, uh, I think it's 2300 milliamp hours. And this is the front screen assembly. If you're gonna replace the screen, I would recommend getting it like this. However, you can replace just the LCD and glass without the frame. In this case, we're not going to remove the screen from the frame. Let's put it back together. We put the battery back in. Put the camera back on. I'm going to throw the motherboard back on. Sorry about that. So we'll put the motherboard back on carefully. Make sure the flex cables go over top. Clip in uh, everything. Uh, try not to clip in the battery first. Clip in everything else. And uh, usually you don't want to put power to the motherboard until the, as, you know, the last thing you want to do. Put in the charger port. Plug in that uh, screen. And we'll put in the antenna cable back on. Uh, sorry about this angle, you can't really see anything. As you can see, I'm plugging it in. Now it'll be easier to put it back together if you make sure that antenna cable follows the little the little outline it has there. So we'll plug in the charger port cable, plug in the, uh, the headphone jack cable and the little uh, antenna cable here. Plug it in. There it's plugged in. Perfect. Now you plug in the battery and you also install the ba um, the speaker assembly back at the bottom. Put the four screws in. Of course, we're gonna put this back plate back on and install all the screws as well. I'm gonna fast forward this too. The fast forwarding is coming, I hope. Oh, come on, I hope. 
I'm surprised I didn't fast forward this. This is awkward. I am doing a voiceover, so obviously, you know, I forgot to fast forward. But anyways, um, yeah, just uh, put all the screws in. Okay, now we're ready to put the back on and uh, then we're good to go. Very easy. It just snaps back in, just go around the edge, make sure it's snug. And there you go. Okay. So hope this helps somebody if you're looking to take apart your phone or replace the battery or anything, the screen. And if you have any questions, just uh, send me an email. Thanks for watching.